Now that we have the application up and running, now we're ready to move on to video one and we'll begin by setting up or installing the Stripe SDK and we'll test out our API, make sure that our SDK is working properly in this video. So to get the SDK, you wanna first go to the Stripe website and you wanna go ahead and set up a Stripe account and it's free to, to set up a test environment for Stripe. And you wanna see this dashboard up here. If you, if you don't see the dashboard, go ahead and sign in, create an account, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then if you go to the dashboard, you should be able to see this. And it's free to set up a test environment. So I'm currently inside the test environment dashboard. And you wanna be at this point before you move on. So once you get to that point, now we're ready to install the SDK. To find that, you can find that under the developers right here. And then open up libraries SDK. I'll open this in a new tab. And then up here in the top right corner, APIs SDK and API. And here is a whole list of different client libraries you can use. We're, we're gonna be working with .NET. Now you could use the NuGet install like this, but what I'm gonna use is .NET add. So let's jump into the command line. We want to install this SDK inside of our API project. This is our .NET application. So I'll shut down the application. I currently have it running. And you wanna make sure you're inside of the API folder before you run this command. So I'm gonna run .NET add package stripe.net, hit enter. Once you install this package, you should see a change within your API. So let's open that up. And we went and added in this package right here inside of our project right here. So you should see this right here. So now that we have the SDK installed, let's test it. To test our new SDK, we'll make an API call. In this case, we'll get back a list of products. We currently do not have any products within our dashboard, but we'll come in here pretty soon and create them. But let's set up the code first. And to find that, you can find all the different APIs you can call on the left here. And you wanna track down the products. And we wanna get back a list of all of our products. So select that one. And we'll just copy this snippet here and paste it within our project. And then the response should look something like this when we get it back. So I'm gonna copy this. So I'll just copy this to the clipboard and we'll set up our API. So inside of one of our controllers, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll pick the payments one. This API we're setting up will be deleting pretty soon. And I'll add it up here at the top. So I called this products. So the, the endpoint is going to be payments and slash product. Then inside here, we'll paste the snippet we got off of Stripe. And then we want to bring in our SDK we just installed. So that's called using Stripe. And that should get rid of all your errors. So what we're doing up here at the top is we're setting up our API key by using this API key. And then here I'm using my top secret key. You do not want to use this key. I'm going to be removing this key after the course is complete. But you want to go into your dashboard and get your top secret key. And this key you always want to keep as a secret. You never want it to be on the client side or anything like that. You want to keep it on the server in a secure location. And there's different ways to set up your Stripe configuration. For now, I'm just adding it within the products API. But you can set it up within this constructor or you could always set up within your startup class. And we'll be doing that in later videos. I'll be showing you different ways to set this up. But for now, I'll just add it right here. If you're already logged in, you'll be able to find your key right here. It'll automatically show up for you. But if you're not logged in, you can log in and it'll show up, or you could always find it within your dashboard. If we go back to the dashboard, and you could go right here, get your test API key, click on that, and you're after your top secret key, so I'll reveal the key. Again, don't use the key that, that you're seeing here because I'm gonna be resetting this after this course is complete. So just copy this key. So copy, and then we'll go back to our project and just make sure you add it here. After you have your Stripe configuration set up, then we'll set up our options. So I'm, I'm asking for a limit of three products and we'll be setting up our products in a minute in the dashboard. And then we'll be making our call and getting back a list of products. Then you want to make sure you pass the products back to whoever's making the API call. 
And that's it for setting up our API. Now let's test this API in Postman before we create any products within the dashboard. So I'll restart the application. So I'll clear everything out and then just run .NET run. And I'll test this out in Postman. Here in Postman, I already set up our API. So it's localhost 5001 API payments products. That's what we call our API. So if we hit send, we should get back an empty array and we did. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign that everything is working correctly. Now let's go and add a new product within our dashboard to actually get back some products. The product we want to create is our awesome membership plan. So if you click on that button, we'll create this awesome membership plan and it's going to be $9 a month. So this is the product we want to create. If we go back to the dashboard and you want to click on products and we'll add a brand new product. So I'll call this product our awesome membership plan. Upload an image. And I'll select the OOP coders logo. And then we want to create a pricing plan. So this is going to be our standard pricing. And you want to make sure you select the recurring. So this is going to be a membership. And we want to charge it monthly. So you want to select this as well. And then it's going to be $9 a month. And then if you would like to add any more, you can add another pricing plan for this membership. So let's say, for example, you got a yearly plan. You could select the yearly and then have it like $90 or something like that. But in this case, we'll only create one. So I'll go and remove this delete price. And then we only have one pricing plan for this membership. So let's create this product. And here is our product. So the product ID and then the price ID for this membership is right here. We'll definitely need this later on. And if we go back to products and here is our new product. Now, if we go back to Postman and test it again, this should show up. Back here in Postman, if we go and hit send again to check our products, we should get back a product. And there is our product. And here, this product ID should match the ID that we just set up within our dashboard. And here's the name of our product, our awesome membership plan. Now that we brought in our SDK, we know it's working. We created a product. Now in the next video, let's begin the checkout process so customers can start buying our awesome membership plan. And we'll start on that next.